ट्वेंटी वन ड्रग कैटेगरी विद मल्टीपल सफिक्सेस मेनी ऑफ दिस ड्रग कैटेगरी आर हैविंग द मल्टीपल सफिक्सेस दे कैन बी रिमेंबर्ड बाय ए सेट ऑफ सफिक्सेस विद इन दैट कैटेगरी सो लेट एस टेक वन एग्जाम्पल हियर सार्टान ए सफिक्स सार्टान इंडिकेट्स दे आर द ए आर बीस एनजियोटेन्स इन रिसेप्ट आर ब्लॉकर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन ऑफ द ड्रग इज द ओलमी सार्टान एंड हियर इफ ए ड्रग इज बिलोंग्स टू द ए आर बी इट विल हैव द सफिक्स सार्टान that means all the angiotensin receptor blockers are having a unique suffix sartan now let us take another case like stigmine so stigmine indicates the drug is a acetylcholine esterase inhibitor so one of the example for this category is the physostigmine but at the same time if a drug is a acetylcholine esterase inhibitor we cannot say that it always have the suffix stigmine so it may have suffix stigmine or another suffix in this way we have many of the drug categories which are having the multiple suffixes and in order to remember all these drugs in this category we have to see what are the possible suffixes in that category so in this video we will go with uh, such type of 21 drug categories which are having the multiple suffixes and we also see few of the drugs in that category which are exception to that suffix so let us start one by one So the first one is the acetylcholinesterase inhibitors. Drugs with suffix stigmine include physostigmine, neostigmine, and pyridostigmine. But we have few of the drugs in this category which are exception to this suffix include edrophonium, ecothiopate, and diflos. All these are having the different suffix and they are not having the same suffix stigmine. But if a drug is having a stigmine, we can easily remember that it is an acetylcholinesterase inhibitor. Second one is the aminoglycoside antibiotics. So aminoglycoside antibiotics are having the suffix mycin as well as mycin. So M Y C I N as well as M I C I N. So drug with M Y C I N include streptomycin, kenamycin, neomycin, and tobramycin. Similarly, drugs with suffix M I C N include gentamycin. But we also have one drug having an exception with these two suffixes is the amikacin, which is having the different suffix. from these two third type of drugs are the antiandrogens antiandrogens are having the suffix lutamide so drugs include flutamide nilutamide and enjalutamide but we have one of the drugs ciproterone which is also an antiandrogen but it is not having the suffix lutamide fourth one is the anticholinergics so they are having the suffix tropium as well as phenacin drugs with tropium suffix include ipratropium and tiotropium similarly drugs like uh, darifenacin and solifenacin or hang the suffix finacin but in this category we have we can find a lot of drugs which are having uh, different suffix like atropine scopolamine cyclopentolate tropicamide oxybutynin and tolterodine all these are the drugs with the different suffixes which are not related with either tropium or phenacin fifth one is the anazides arayl propionic acid derivatives so there have the suffix profen so we have the drugs like ibuprofen ketoprofen and flubiprofen all these are having the same suffix profen but we have one drug in this category naproxen which is having the different suffix but still belongs to the arayl propionic acid derivative Sixth one is the barbiturates. They are having the suffix barbital. Examples include phenobarbital, pentobarbital, imobarbital, and butabarbital. Again, in this category, one of the drug is the thiopental, which is an exception, having the different suffix. Seventh one is the benzodiazepines. So benzodiazepines are having the suffix like azepam as well as azolam. So drugs with suffix azepam include dizepam, clonazepam, oxazepam, lorazepam. Fluorazepam and Tamazepam. Most of the drugs are having the suffix Azepam. And few of the fused ring systems like uh, Alprazolam, Midazolam, and Trizolam are having the suffix Azolam. Again, in this category, we have one drug like Chlorodiazepoxide, which is having a different suffix. Eighth one is the Beta-2 agonists. These are having a suffix Terol. 
So examples include albuterol, salmeterol and formoterol. One of the exception here is the terbutaline which is having again different suffix. Ninth one is the biphosphonates. The suffix is the dronate. We have alendronate, etidronate, risidronate and pamidronate. One of the drug in this category is the joledronic acid is having a different suffix. Tenth one is the corticosteroids. Corticosteroids are having the suffix like son, solone as well as sonite. So dexamethasone, betamethasone, prednisone and mometasone all these are having the suffix son. Whereas other drugs like prednisolone is having the suffix solone and other drugs like cyclosonide, budesonide are having the suffix sonide. In this way, any of these suffix can be found in the corticosteroid category. Eleventh one is the DNA polymerase inhibitors. So we have the suffix like cyclovir as well as cyclovir. Again, CY and CI. So drugs ending with the CY, CLO, VIR, cyclovir in include acyclovir and valacyclovir. Similarly, drugs with the suffix CI include gancyclovir and pencyclovir. But still we have an exception here. Foscarnate and idoxuridine are the other DNA polymerase inhibitors with different suffix. Twelfth one, fibrinolytics. There hang the suffix place as well as kinase. So drugs include altiplase, jutiplase and retiplase with the suffix place. And other drugs like streptokinase and urokinase are having the suffix kinase. Thirteenth one, inhalation anesthetics. Suffix is the fluorine, influrane, desflurane, sevoflurane and isoflurane all belongs to this suffix. But we have the other drugs like halothane and nitrous oxide which are having the different suffix. Fourteenth one, IV anticoagulants. So suffix is the parin. So drugs include heparin, enoxaparin, tinjaparin and daltiparin. Other drugs in this category like argatroban, lepuridin and Dabigatron, all these are having the different suffix. Loop diuretics, semide, drugs like furosemide and torsemide. Other drugs in this category include bumetanide and ethacrylic acid, having different suffix. Sixteenth one, muscarinic agonis. Call, we have the drugs like carbacol and bethanicol. But one of the naturally obtained uh, drug, pilocarpin, is having a different suffix. Seventeenth one, neuromuscular blockers. There hang the suffix onium as well as curium. So drugs with suffix onium include pancuronium and vecuronium. And similarly curium are atracurium and mevacurium. We have a depolarized neuromuscular blocker saxamethonium as well as a non-depolarized neuromuscular blocker d tubocurarin or exception for these two suffixes. 18th one, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, NRTIs. So they are ending with the suffix woodin, like judovoodin, stavoodin and lamivoodin. But other drugs like uh, didanosin, jalcitabin and abacavir are having the different suffix. 19th one, phenothiazines. There hang the suffix promazine, perazine, as well as phenazine. So chlorpromazine and trifluoromazine are having the suffix promazine. And drugs like prochlorperazine and trifluoperazine are having the suffix perazine. And flufinazine and perfinazine are having the suffix phenazine. 20th one, prostaglandin analogs. There hang the suffix prost. Drugs like carboprost, latanoprost, gemiprost and bravoprost. All these are having the suffix prost. But we have one of the drug, well known drug mesoprostol is having a different suffix. 21. TCAs. So triptyline and ipramine. So drugs with the suffix triptyline include amitriptyline and nortriptyline. Similarly, ipramine like imipramine, desipramine and clomipramine. And we have a lot of drugs which the exception in this category like doxepin, amoxapine, maprotilin and riboxin. All these are even TCAs are having different suffix. So these are the 21 drug categories with uh, multiple suffixes along with few of the exceptions.
even there are some exceptions if we practice the drug names in this way it is easy to remember the drugs and their categories